All right, so this is the uh, the unhooked up setup so far. From back here, you really can't see much of the reservoir. And I'll have my on-off switch, the breaker that's in there very loosely, volts, and they're really dirty because they've been outside and all the pollen and lost in here. It's really bad. Let's go around here. Back, so this is how it'll be hooked up. I'm going to bungee strap this wood in with the reservoir bubbler onto that right there, that way over there. And it should all be good. Um, for the wiring, for the electrical wires, I'm going to string them up underneath the, uh, actually, I'm going to do the driver's side. We're going to string up underneath the driver's side. Also, for the HHO out, I'm going to get them to go through here. And then there's a huge, oh, I can't quite see it. There's a gap about that big for the for the stealing column and maybe I mean let's think comparison wise I have about that much room so I can easily squeeze the HHO tube in there. I'm gonna be able to wire it all up. I found out where I'm gonna hook it up at. It's gonna go which is really weird I'm not I'm not the biggest car person. One second I'll open up the hood here. Um, while testing it, I unhooked the PCV here, which goes from here to the air intake, and this actually has a suction on it. Don't know why, but this is the top of the crankcase here. The PCV valve on my car is right down here. Not too long ago, I replaced it. So I have a big mesh of y um, tubing right here. I have it looped around. It's easy to replace in the future, so I don't have to take the thermostat and the hose off. It's a lot easier to get to. But I'm just going to cut this, tee it off, this has a section going that way, which goes into the bottom of the throttle body somewhere. So I tee, I'm going to tee it off right here for the for the uh, HHO out. It's all going to come around through here, the battery and the tubing, or the wires for the battery, hook the battery up, and I'll come all the way around here for the tubing. Hopefully I'll have all that done by next week. I did hook up to this car. It did make any noticeable difference to hook it up, though. I took off this arm here and grabbed the tube down the, this, and I kind of put this back on. It didn't make a good seal. Putting it here didn't work because just letting it be at idle, this had no suction on it, really. This thing is kind of large, you know. And I tried putting it on this, but this actually has a suction going back into the crankcase, which is not where you want it to go. Um, if this idea doesn't work right, what I'll end up doing is I'll try drilling a hole through the rubber membrane here, making sure I find a way to seal it good. You obviously don't want dirt particles going down in there. And uh, that'll work going right next to the throttle body. So, hopefully it all works out by next week. My father's also hooked it up to fuel injected carburetor, his S10. And it, he said it didn't make his noticeable difference at idle. He couldn't hear the engine rev or anything like that. And I think he turned his on at the 24 volt mark. And it was. Um, producing about four liters a minute, so and he's got a 2.2 liter V6. But third thing, that plastic is to help seal this. What I do is I use I put the plastic and then the built-in gasket and then a the PCV or PVC uh, liner gasket that I built myself, and then put all that on top of the lid here, strap with a rubber band, then I put the cheap cap on and I'll hold it all together. But I'm going to take all this, put it back in my dad's garage, and I'll come back over here on Monday or something, or Easter to work on it. i got to rewire all this because it's got 14, 16-gauge wire, which 16-gauge isn't more than a, what is it, 20-some amps. 14-gauge is like 30 amps. I'm expecting this thing to get to about 30. I actually haven't left it on for more than a few hours yet, so part of the tests are going to be done on the road. Also... How bad lie is. That's a lie residue. A little white dot. Look at this. Because it was leaking, it leaks from the reservoir. There's a little leak on it when we left out here. That lie everywhere. All that. And this red cutting board, all that slide paper or uh, dust all over the concrete. I poured it right there. You can actually see a spot. But that's stuff you don't want to get on you. Here's my original bubbler reservoir.
um, HHO was leaking out along this crack here. So I just decided to get the bubbler reservoir, the little radiator tank. Also, look how corroded that gets. With the with the brass. So you don't you don't use brass. It can get really nasty it looks like. But I'll use a secondary bubbler or something in the future. I'll find some use for it. The only thing that's glued together is this part. Alright. Yeah, that's everything. I gotta fix this. That is not good. It's all rubbing up on this and getting this all dirty.